Hey guys, it's Luigi Gal here with the first ever Premiere Setups video tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install your pre-made setup onto Multicraft. Now, this is not the exact same if you're using Pterodactyl or a home hosted server. However, there are many things that are the same. So if I change the name of the world, just make sure you do the same thing and you should be okay. Now this will work with Factions, Skyblock, Prison, Hub, all my pre-made resources. Just follow this guide and they will be working for you. If you end up having any issues or any questions throughout the guide, comment below or contact me on Discord at discord.premiersetups.com. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is come to the resource you want to install and hit download now. After downloading, go ahead and put it on your desktop and extract the file. When you finish extracting, you should see something around this. Server files, this setup has something called stim upgrades, which allows you to change the drugs to stims to make it a little more child friendly, along with a readme in terms of service link. Read the readme. It has important information along with links to the premium plugins we need to install. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. After getting this on your desktop, go ahead and go to your multi-craft and find where you log into your server. Log in and get to your server. Should look something like this. Make sure your server is turned off. Your server needs to be turned off for the whole process or this is not gonna work. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is come to files, FTP file access, and here's your information. So right here you have FTP address, port, username, password. Right here you have host. Same thing as addressed. Username, password, port. After that, log in. Now, if your folder, or your um, FileZilla right here shows um, something like whitelisted, plugins, world, delete it. Make sure you empty your server completely. After you have it emptied, go to your um, extracted files, open server files, and drag and drop this. Allow this to finish. It's going to take a minute. That is fine. It is expected. This is uploading all the files from your computer to your server. Now, while this is finishing, there is something we can still do. Go back to wherever you have it installed and notice the main world here, along with most of the other setups, is called Spawn with a capital S. So back in your multi-craft, go to here, here, go to your server. Go ahead and name your um, world Spawn with a capital S. Hit save. Then come on down to your jar file. Every setup I have runs Spigot 1.8.8. The, some of them will work with paper spigot, but for the sake of convenience, just choose spigot 1.8.8 and hit save. After that's saved, you're almost done, but hit show advanced settings and turn off announce world save. This will just make it so you don't get some ugly message in the server saying, the world has been saved. We don't want that. Hit save. Now we have to wait for files that are complete. You'll know it's done when the queued files becomes the same thing as successful transfers. So this should be zero. This should have whatever amount of files you've transferred. This will take a minute, so go ahead, make sure your server's off, you know, and then just leave it and come back in just a minute. All right, so now that that has finished, you should see something like this. If not, right click, hit refresh. Should make sure you see all your files. Now this means we are almost done, but there is a few things we need to do. We need to go to your plugins folder, and in the readme, there will be a link to plugins called premium plugins. These jar files are not provided to you and you need to install them. So follow the link, purchase the plugin and get those plugins in a folder. I have the plugins here for this setup. It's deluxe chat and shop GUI plus both amazing plugins. We're going to go ahead and highlight over these and then drag and drop them into the plugins folder. Let them finish. You're going to get a nice, loud, annoying sound and then you can turn on your server. Go ahead and go to the console. It's going. Starting Minecraft server, 1.8.8. .8. This will allow clients from 1.8.8 .8 to 1.14 for the newest version. You just make sure that the server, in your server is actually running Spigot 1.8.8. .8. Now, as soon as this is done booting up here in a few seconds, we can go ahead and log into it in game. It will take a second the first time it turns on. Right, we got a little check mark, we are good to go. So now we are gonna go back to our Minecraft and there it is. We're gonna go ahead and click on it. 
Now, everything is installed. Everything's looking great. We have all the plugins, they're green. If I do something like shop, boom, there's my shop. Now I already have op and I already have a few other perms just because, hey, this is actually my server. But you will just need to do a few things in the readme to get yourself to be able to do whatever you need to do. All right, guys, you now have a working OP prison server. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me at discord.premiersetups.com. I am active a lot of the time and you just make a ticket and I'll be right with you with whatever questions you have. If you did like this tutorial, please leave a like like always and comment below what you would like to see next. I would love to continue to make video tutorials for you guys. So if you'd like to see something else changed or want to know how to do something, please just say, hey, Luigi, make this next. I would love to do that. Thank you guys for supporting me. Luigi Cal, out.